what you're looking at is a company called Illuminati. They make aftermarket necks for guitars and basses and production guitars, but today we're gonna to be looking at one of their necks. Not only is this neck machined out of one piece of aluminum, it also has a carbon fiber fretboard with stainless steel frets. Now, when I was on the website doing my order, there was anodized pink, green, and blue. You could also get it with an aluminum fretboard as well, but I prefer the carbon fiber, even though it's a little bump in price. They also have an option with a three on three headstock and it seemed like it came in all the same colors. This neck I ordered with the intent to put it on this body I bought from Stratosphere. So this is a Fender Player Series made in Mexico, complete body, which means it had the body, the pick guard with all the pickups, the tremolo, it was complete. I paid $350 for it on eBay and I ordered this aluminum neck in gold because I wanted it to look like vintage maple so that when I was playing it, it took you a second to realize that this wasn't a maple neck on this body. This neck is one pound, nine ounces, and sitting on the guitar, it perfectly balances. Now, if you don't have a reference of what that weight means on the neck, that means it's roughly about what a Fender maple neck would weigh. What they did to relieve the weight was they went ahead and routed out the headstock. So you can see where they took all this material away. It comes standard with Spurzel locking staggered keys, two string trees, and an aluminum nut. And what they did on the nut was really impressive. It has two threaded screws that go on the back and they attach the nut. So if you have to replace the nut, you can go ahead and just unscrew those, pull it off, put the new one on in minutes. The nut out of the box did not need any work other than I put a little bit of Daddario lubricant on the slots just to make it a little smoother. Now, when you get to the carbon fiber part, it is really impressive. It looks good. It's flawless in its execution. And the stainless steel frets are pressed in. They might have glued these as well, but they're definitely pressed in. Now, when you buy the neck, like I said, you get it in multiple colors, but it also comes with a little kit. And the kit is four threaded screws that have an Allen wrench included, and they are threaded inserts on the neck. So the neck attaches very quickly. But the neck I'm reviewing today is designed for Fender Stratocasters and Telecasters and PVT60 guitars. So that's what it's designed to go on. But even with that, you still have to use the included quarter inch drill bit to remount the four holes so that the threaded screws do not get bound up in the wood. So be aware of that. Um, so if you're thinking about modding maybe your American Strat or something like that, be aware that you're gonna have to modify it in some degree. <laughs> The neck carve is something also we need to talk about. It's a thinner neck, at least feels a little thinner than the Player Series Stratocaster neck, but it's got a soft U to it. Not a V, but a little bit of a U, and there's a little bit of a shelf or an edge on the sides. And when I got it out of the box, I was a little nervous because I was like, how is that gonna feel? But to be honest with you, within seconds of playing it, it's not only did I not feel it, uh, it feels fine, the neck feels great. I really like the neck, I, I have no issues with it. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's right in the middle. The fretboard is a 12 inch radius, so it's ready to play, but this is where it gets interesting. Remember when I said it doesn't have a truss rod? Well, not only does it not have a truss rod, they actually channeled out the center of the aluminum neck. They actually designed it so that when you put strings on it, nine gauge or 10 gauge strings, it has a perfect amount of relief. I thought the guitar was gonna be bone straight, and that was something I was, gonna, I was curious about. How are they gonna address that? Because if your neck is too straight, it's really hard to get it sometimes set up right. This one has the perfect amount of neck relief. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> I just put it on. I have to tell you, I put on the neck and the strings in under five minutes. 
the only time, the only thing that took time was uh, drilling out the four holes a little bit and just adjusting the saddle's height. I had to raise the saddle's height a little bit on that and of course uh, set the intonation a little bit. But something to note, on their website it says you may need shims, you may need other things to, to factor in. I didn't have to deal with any of that. It just kind of landed perfectly. But again, I did start with basically a brand new body and a brand new neck. <laughs> So what does the guitar neck cost? Well, it starts out about $860 and they go up to as high as $1,000 for the guitar necks. The one you're seeing in this video was $950 and that was because it is upgraded to being anodized in the gold, but again, you can pick your color. And I upgraded to the carbon fiber fretboard and there was no additional charge to go to the upgraded even more uh, modulus carbon fiber weave fretboard, which I think looks really, really cool. And according to their website, there's no additional charge to make the neck left-handed. Now, if you're looking for a comparable, I found another brand that makes aluminum necks over in Germany, and they're about $879 if you have them anodized, but they only anodize the, the necks in black. So it looks like Illuminati has the, all the colors, which is nice. And of course, for $70 more, you can add the carbon fiber fretboard, which is a really cool option. Something else to note about these is that they are just in time manufacturing, which means you order this neck and then they manufacture it. And it takes them about 120 days, according to their website. What I can tell you is it took about the same time. It took about 120 days. And uh, they did send me a nice little picture halfway through of the progress. One of the things I thought was really cool when they sent that picture was underneath the fret dots were, uh, were in the holes were screws. And those are the screws that attach this, this carbon fiber fretboard to the neck. So it's, it's actually screwed on. And I don't know if they glue it as well, but I thought that was really cool. <laughs> One of the things I thought was strange is that they have three dots on the 12th fret. That's up to you. For me, it's not that great. <laughs> it's okay. I just, not my thing. Um, it doesn't bother me, but uh, when I look down at it, it doesn't confuse me or anything. I just, you know, I could give it, I could, I could take it or leave it. So I don't know. That's up to you guys. <laughs> What piqued my interest with this company was the carbon fiber fretboard. I like carbon fiber fretboards. I think that's something that we should be looking at for all kinds of guitars. It's really cool. So I thought that was the selling point, stainless steel frets and the carbon fiber fretboard. I thought that was really cool. And, uh, and then I wanted to see how this neck played out. Like I said, I, I'm really impressed in every way. Um, there's not a whole lot I can pick on uh, with it. The only thing I can say that's probably important to you if you're considering a neck like this is that if you think this neck's gonna feel like a, a wood neck, it's not. It's, it's not that feeling at all. This is a totally different feeling instrument. Normally, when I film a video like this, I film it in one to two days. I filmed this video over the course of an entire month. And the main reason was I wanted to spend some time to see if I really liked it and could I convey anything other than just how the neck feels. I wanna tell you that I can honestly say that playing the guitar for well over a month now, I have really, really enjoyed it. I wanted to share this with you. This was really fun for me, really exciting. I wanna thank the Illuminati guys. Really, really looks like they put a lot of work into their necks. It was really impressive to see that much work done on a, uh, on a neck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, if you like these videos and you wanna see more, you can subscribe. Till the next time, know your gear.